Hello, Trace Lawler here. So I wanted to make a video about Port Aransas. Um, recently, my friend Fidel was playing um, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption, I think, too. And um, there's this part where it's like marshy, and I think it's like in Louisiana. I don't know where the setting is supposed to be. But um, Fidel hunted a roseate spoonbill and um i was like oh my gosh you just shot a roseate spoonbill why i was like why did you do that that's awful i took a picture of it and posted it on instagram because roseate spoonbills are one of my favorite birds ever and it reminded me of um, port aransas in rockport um we went there a few times when i was younger um, we used to go there to see the whooping cranes, um, which are endangered birds. I don't know if they're still endangered, but um, they used to uh, go there in the fall. And I used to see pelicans and roseate spoonbills and then summertime hummingbirds. And um, so I really, really got to study birds. And I should have gotten like some sort of PhD on birds or something. But, um, yeah, uh, I was like a little genius about birds. Um, I had this book when I was in the Philippines called North American Birds or something. And there was a cardinal on the front. And I was obsessed with trying to draw the birds that were in there because it was like drawings, like kind of like Audubon drawings. And so, yeah, um, when we went there, we used to like look for hawks um, like that were flying around. And we'd be like trying to count the hawks. And there's difference between uh, what a hawk looks like and what a vulture looks like. And it was like a whole like car game. But um, Port Aransas is one of the coolest places to go to or to take children to because um, you get to see all sorts of cool things, uh, nature. And, you know, um, it's just a really a, an awesome place. And I highly suggest uh, visiting it if you haven't. It is uh, kind of close to Houston, Texas. It's kind of close to Galveston. Um, and yeah, so anyway, um, you know, uh, after uh, researching just like all sorts of um, stuff that I have that reminds me of my dad, um, I just ended up thinking about Port Aransas and um, Rockport. And I was thinking, oh, I really, really would like to visit um, Port Aransas at some point too and so yeah anyway um, I don't have much else really to um, talk about with Port Aransas um, I mean I like I we used to go there with our family friends Ray and Mary and I remember Mary had given me this book that was the sunken treasure book it was like blue like you know uh, how it's like a children's book with the sunken treasures but I had already actually gotten it when I was in the Philippines my mom had sent me one or my dad had and um, I don't know we went to this uh, restaurant where we ate a lot of seafood I remember eating a lot of crab I think and shrimp and yeah it's it's a great place to go to to eat seafood because uh, there's a lot of restaurants that have really really good seafood and they give you a bib and you just sit there and like eat as much seafood as you can. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I, I remember when I first, well, I don't know if it was the first time that I went. I want to say maybe kind of like the first time that I went. I had just discovered caboodles um, back in the day when I was like in fifth grade, I think. I discovered caboodles. It's this like box thing where you put makeup and stuff into. And I remember bringing it and I had like my topsy tail um, like uh, thing to put in there and like my hair ties. And I felt like all grown up. I don't know. Uh, so I don't really have like specific, specific places that we went to. But it's just cool to, um, you know, reminisce about places that I've been to uh, growing up and uh, really like. I would say the coolest place, you know, was Port Aransas um, because of all the studying of the birds and get, really getting me into nature and science and stuff like that. Anyway, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.